I have to be honest, I was a hater of Awake. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think the first few collections I saw them put out, I wasn't that impressed. It looked a little bit, I won't say cut and paste, but it just looked a little bit like clip arty amateurie, in my personal opinion. But as per usual, I'm assuming that was their first effort coming in. They had to sort of iron some things out. The ideas were there. Just need to improve production to manufacture. A lot of people say that. A lot of people say the most of the reason why clothes look a certain way isn't really to do with the design or the creativity. It's more to do with what access you have to particular production and manufacturing. If you get the right access to certain things, your quality of your garments just skyrockets, right? So this is probably proof of it because Awake NY is full 2024 collection. Oh my God. It might be one of the best ones I've seen so far. And this is across the board. I have to say, of all the ex-Supreme probably people out there, I think Angela Back is doing some fucking crazy shit over there. So this looks fucking good. Number one, look at that fucking leather jacket. Look at the back of that leather jacket. Like, are you silly? Like, Jesus Christ. And I'm not really a big, you know, branding logo type of a guy anyway, but I'd wear the fuck out of that. That looks so fucking good. This jacket here, this, this fucking down jacket here in this blue camo this blue yellow black camo effect thing is just absolutely gorgeous really is gorgeous and this kind of harkens back to the early 2000s era nice baggy jeans i hate the air max dns though one of the worst air maxes ever in recent years i fucking despise the air max dns i think they're fucking garbage and nike wasted a lot of time and money investing in producing those things but the silhouettes and the colors and the shapes of this collection are so good this long sleeve polo is fucking beautiful love everything about it i think if i'm not mistaken i can't really see it too closely but those trousers does that say 100 percent? and is that like corduroy or what is that i don't know what the material that is i love the fucking creepers that the kids wearing very fucking good look at that jersey awake les lower east side nyc like it's just really fucking good and maybe they've maybe they've hired another designer but i don't think so i think this is just them refining over the years improving production and manufacturing and then now what they're popping out is absolutely incredible <laughs> look at that rugby man that is so fucking good it's almost like a jamaica flag you know inspired but that rugby is so fucking beautiful and again that's that there's that down jacket i'm a big fan of Oh, look at that jersey. I'm not too sure where that character comes from. It looks familiar. Is that from an anime? That is really fucking cool. Look at that jersey. Wow. That is so cool. I actually like the design. Also, the logo on the fucking cap. That looks pretty cool. All of this is just harder than hard. It's available on Saturday from the 7th. Let's see some other looks from the lookbook as well. You've got another great... Is that a denim look? I'm not sure if that's denim. Is that a denim jacket? Yeah, that's a denim jacket, I think, with that same 100% sort of, like, um, emblazoned onto it. You've got the A-hat. That has to be me, right? it? Given my name and shit, that has to be me, right? I have to get something like this. That A-hat is fucking beautiful. That has to be me. The jumper as well is really nice, too. You've got these little balls with the spikes all over it. That's fucking cool. Nice knitwear. The T-shirt is great. Great pants again. Another great hat. Uh, camera again on the sweatshirt is pretty nice that yeah that rugby top is gorgeous i prefer the jamaica colorway but this sky blue colorway is also really nice it's kind of like a ny um new york knicks inspired um little garb there not really mad at that in the slightest you got a camo um logo hoodie which i think is pretty good I, I love how they embroider it by the way i hate the fucking box logo hoodie and it just fucking screen printed i like how the logo has been embroidered it looks a little bit janky in this particular one but maybe because it's been washed and shit maybe this is a sample but regardless i appreciate that they embroider the logo there that's really fucking cool oh look at that is that another oh that's the same jersey we saw before but it's placed over a hoodie again great styling thing by the way because now you know immediately if i want this jersey the first thing i'm gonna think of is oh i need to wear it like this kid so that's a really great little styling nod i love the fuck out of that he's wearing them with some nike boots as well i'm not mad at that in the slightest he's absolutely stunning Oh, look at that. Another really nice one. You've got Awake NY written on the back of a hoodie. Nice bubble print or bubble font here in pink and white across the entirety of the shoulder. For me, a lot of this stuff is like aimed at kids. I understand a lot of this branding, but it's still hard not to like this sort of stuff in it. This is like quintessential streetwear. Just massive logos emblazoned on the back towards your legs, on your arms. You know I mean, it's a little bit naff and stuff. I personally like it to be more tonal, but it's still hard. It's still hard. I, I'm, I can't be mad at it. I can't be mad at it. Impossible. 
Um, and then again, you've got you know, presentations happening. Join us on Sunday, September the 8th, 62 Orchid Street, celebrate a photo exhibition of the legendary photojournalist Ricky Flores. With a pop-up BBQ and everything else, Ricky Flores was born and raised in New York. Ricky Flores started documenting life in South Bronx in the late 70s and often photographed life of friends and family during one of the most turbulent times of history in New York. So there's an event they're doing as well there. Yo, big up, big up, high def. Appreciate you, brother. Apologies to Ooch. Just some bants. Okay. Ordering Balenciaga cargo <laughs> bras as a peace offering just now. <laughs> big, up, big up high def now. No problem. No problem. No problem. Apology accepted high def. No problem. No problem. Like, let's just make sure we speak to each other with respect in the chat. LOL about you don't need to you don't need to order me any you don't need to order me any, any fucking Balenciaga cargos, brother. I accept your apology, no problem. You don't need to you don't need to order me. <laughs> any Balenciaga cargos I'm not that fucking easily bought first of all okay but yeah appreciate you high def appreciate you and um yeah um let's just all be friends and love each other um let's continue you got oh look at this print on this sweatshirt this almost feels like a little uh is that a tie-dye effect what is that is that a little pop art thing Oof. and is that a little is that a script I think there's something written on there I think there's something written on there I can't really see it because my eyes are shit, but that looks really nice. Is that are those track pants? No, they're sweatpants. Cool, you got nice beanies again with the sweatshirt. Oh, you got a nice um shadow plaid zip up shirt as well. Yeah, big up Richie. Big up Richie. Speaking of Alessandro Michel thoughts on him at Valentino, will he do good or bad personal thoughts? And thoughts? <laughs> on Dior men's ballet flats versus your never seen or worn Balenciaga flats. <laughs> Um, I don't think we were talking about Alessandro Michele. I don't think anybody spoke about Alessandro Michele. I don't think so. I don't think anyone spoke about that. Uh, <laughs> but um, how he's gonna, I, was, I think he's going to kill it at, at Valentino. Valentino was fucking dead with the other dude. Was it Pier Paolo? He's fucking garbage. Um, I love what Alessandro Michele does. I love his aesthetic. If anything, he was kind of unlucky to lose his job at Gucci. They said they wanted something fresh and new. The guy comes in with something fresh and new and everyone starts complaining anyway. Everyone on fashion Twitter, everyone on social media starts crying and complaining about it. I thought that vision he had for Gucci was very distinctive and kind of placed them, you know, it, it became like a cultural moment or like a fashion week moment to always go to the fucking Gucci shows. They were very theatrical. They were very loud. They were very out there, very quick themes. Like, I'm just surprised he was uh, fired. I'm sure the numbers probably justify his firing, but I thought there was a bit hasty to let go of him but i think he'll kill it at valentino i think that his aesthetic that kitsch you know aesthetic that he has going on will be that would work really well there um what else you say here dior ballet men's flats i don't know what the dior men's flats are to be fair um but my never never my never before seen balenciaga flats will be seen they will be seen and when they will be seen you're gonna eat your words richie you're gonna eat your words i don't like to talk too much but when I when I do talk, I talk with evidence. So you remember this day, you're gonna eat your words. You're gonna be like eating your words when you do end up seeing them. Trust me and believe me. Big up Richie. Big up Richie. Um, continue on to this one. We got nice shadow plaid. Appreciate you, bad for the donor, brother. Appreciate you for the donor. Um, we got a nice shadow plaid. I think this is a zip up as well. Oh, look at that! It's a shadow plaid. Is that a zip up or is that? Yeah, okay. I thought it was. I thought it was a pullover. I thought that would have been really interesting. It's not. It's just a zip up, but it's got like a really nice concealment. So you can't really see the zip too much. So that's nice. I'm not going to lie. You know, uh, plaid shirts. You can't go wrong with that. Nice beanie. Um, you got the same jacket as well. Again, with the 100 again. Oh, that jersey. That jersey, man. That jersey is so hard. That jersey is too good. Oh, look at that Parker. Is that a Parker? Oh, no. It's just a what is it okay it's a i think it's a workwear jacket i'm assuming maybe they've changed the paneling on it i, I don't really know but I, I don't mind that either hopefully it comes with a matching set as well that's not too bad i like the colorways i like the colors used the green and the brown that awake logo is so good isn't it i don't it reminds me of a band i don't know what that reminds me. is it a tribe called quest it reminds me of something this sign this like flower sign with the awake that's a really cool logo i'm not gonna lie that's a fucking really cool logo I love that. And I think the last one we got here, more in oh look at that long sleeve polo cardigan thing. That is gorgeous. This is definitely gonna sell out. This is one of this is gonna be one of their fucking stand up pieces. That's for sure gonna sell out. 
the colours as well are beautiful. That yellow, the blue, which is that's purple or something. Really nice. You've got contrasting stitch t shirt, great beanies again, hats again, great jerseys. That denim is fucking beautiful. Yeah, they killed it. Big up Awake. Awake NY full 2024 will be available from Saturday at 7 pm. I'm assuming it's going to be available online as well on the same date, maybe later. So check it out if you're that way inclined. Link is above. You can find it. I'll put it in the description also later. So don't delay. Don't freaking delay.